So Bob and Brad graciously sent me another massage gun called Q2 Mini massage gun. Now I believe this is one of the best selling uh, massage gun on Amazon at the moment. So what I'm going to do on this video is a direct comparison with the C2 massage gun that I received a while ago. Uh, but before we get into this unboxing, um, my colleague at Deep Brain AI will let you know the main features of this product. So over to you. Thank you, LJP Tech. Hello. This is Paris from Deep Brain AI. So Q2 Mini Massage Gun is the number one most rated mini massage gun on Amazon. Unlike other products on the market, Bob and Brad's ergonomic creations prioritize a physical therapy approach, meaning they are intentionally built to improve patient and athlete recovery. The Q2 Mini Massage Gun is perfect for anyone with a busy on-the-go lifestyle. It is still deceptively powerful despite being miniature, and it is exceptionally compact making it easily accessible throughout the day. It is only the size of the palm of your hand, but maintains all the qualities of a full-sized massage gun. It's by far one of the smallest and lightest massage guns on the market, making it super portable and travel-friendly. Bob and Brad's Q2 massage gun gives 2,000 to 3,200 RPM and up to 35 pounds of force, while others on the market give. Anywhere from 30 to 40 pounds of force and 1,750 to 3,180 RPM. A key benefit to Bob and Brad's Q2 massage gun is the noise reduction compared to other guns on the market, giving off just 53 dB rather than the Normal 6070 dB. So if you were to directly compare the actual main units, I do feel like the um, Q2 has way more weight on it, um, but I do like this grip actually. This feels more secured, while as this one, uh, overall a good quality feel and a bit more weight. On the actual massage head itself, we got two round head, but you can see that the C2 is bigger. Um, about uh, 20 to 30 percent bigger than you can see so it's a difference of a size mainly between these two but the actual uh, rest other than the um, this two-fingered um, massage head which is actually tinier actually they carve it out in the in the middle actually to make it much lighter for some reason and they actually I can feel the bit of a weight on the C2 range um the the pointy bit i'll call it the pointy head they are also very similar indeed but again the uh, c q2 has the hole cut in the middle while the c2 it seems to imply that there's this cushioning but it doesn't really but th that's actually better looking more convincing um on the actual i would say the pump head <laughs> Sorry about the all unique name, but you can see that again, the C2 is bigger than the Q2. And lastly, on the C2 unit, we got the flat head that is actually longer and um, smaller than the Q2 range. So you can see that the Q2 is giving you a award for wider surface. So I really like this one. This is actually making it unique. But again, overall impression on the Q2 unit is that they actually carved out in the middle, um, trying to make it a bit more light, definitely. Maybe it's more aerodynamic, who knows, but definitely feels more upgraded. But then again, I do like the weight on uh, each of the C2 uh, range, if you see what I mean. Okay, so let's do the noise comparison, shall we? So let's turn both of these units on. Okay, so you can see there's more vibration coming from the C2 and more noise. Let's actually increase the speed. Yeah, definitely there's more noise coming from C2. So if I were to turn it off, Yeah, definitely um, Q2 unit sounds more um, stable, quieter, and it's actually less of a vibration as well. So, oh yeah, when you do that, there's more a weird feeling of this emotion. That's cool. So on my left hand side, I got the Q2 unit. On the right, I got the C2. And what I'm gonna start with is the shoulder session of two minutes for each of these units to see if there's any 
a huge comparison. Just so you know, both of them are known to go up to 3200 um, RPM. So that's really good indeed. So let's try it out on the highest level. And then let's try the shoulder one, shall we? <laughs> that's very good. It's a shame that I didn't carry this with me to my holiday. I could have just lied down and go through the whole session myself, but very good. Especially when it actually, the shoulder ends that point. I wish there was a timer though for two minutes, for three minutes or five minutes or four minutes, you could set it up. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, so I got it on maximum. So let's try the shoulder. Oh, for some reason, I'm actually feeling more strength on this one. Definitely more noise. It's way more powerful, the C2 unit itself. Is that a good thing? I'm not really sure. I was actually feeling more comfortable on the maximum th strength on the Q2 unit early on. Cool. So I have to say that um, definitely on the C2 experience, there's more stiffness of a firm session there, while as the uh, Q2, it's more relaxed. So definitely more strength to C2 overall, bigger impact. So, but then again, you can actually adjust the strength of it. But for the purpose of this exercise, I deliberately actually put it into maximum level. So I guess there's more strength definitely on to C2. So let's try out the lower back session because that's where I actually have a long term sort of um, issue on it. So both of them on put into maximum. So here it goes. <laughs> That's very good. I mean, I believe this is supposed to be done uh, by someone else for you, technically. But you know, applying two of these at one go is <laughs> really indeed rewarding. And you have to make sure you use the ball head at uh, the round one uh, for four minutes. So hopefully that will actually do the job. Ah, ah, muscle spasm on both of my shoulders for a uh, very long time. So it's not ideal to do this on four minutes constantly. Make sure you got your partner or your married, uh, whoever it is to look after your back. Right, so overall feel on those two sessions I just had uh, on the right hand side shoulder, definitely I could feel the wrath of going through the maximum strength on it. So I believe C2 definitely has way more strength impact onto the session if you go to the max, while as Q2 it kind of feels nice and more professionally settled, if you see what I mean. Maybe I'm justifying, so it's up to you to try it out. Regards to the back session, it kind of feels both of them the same way in somehow, surprisingly, it's a different impact comparing to the shoulder. Um, I can see the actual muscle itself is warming up, so it kind of feels warm. Uh, but the cleverness about the Q2 unit, I don't know whether it was deliberately designed that way or I'm actually justifying it for some reason, but when I actually touch to the bone, the surface of bone, it seems to suddenly stop, quiet down a bit. And when, that, when I go back to the muscle, uh, that's when it started to regenerate the whole uh, movement. So I hope that's how it is supposed to be designed. Maybe um, I can see the difference compared to C2 uh, to Q2. Uh, but overall, the impact is the same. Um, but anyhow, I have to say, if someone asked me which one do you prefer, well, I like the Q2 because it's more compact and more weight. Um, I like compact units, but then again, if you want that strength that actually could actually cause you up to the bruise mark, uh, definitely get C2 because I think strength is very important knowing the fact that you can then readjust it uh, to the level of what you prefer is really good. While I, I kind of feel like for some reason, maybe because it's compact, the Q2 seems to lack a bit of a strength in there, but it depends on what sort of 
preference you have. Just so you know, my background as a Korean, we always go for the extreme hotness or anything that extreme. So that might defer to your opinion of how you apply this whole unit. But anyhow, both of them are very good, good quality, especially the packaging and the weight. I would much give a credit to the, uh, the Q2 unit. And definitely if you were to put them side by side and the feel of it and overall, Q2 seems to be way more upgraded, the next generated feel to it comparing to the C2 unit. So I hope this video will help you understand what this mainly the Q2 unit is about. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye bye.